Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for joining me for Try It Out Tuesday. Today we're going to create a cute little birdhouse um, card. We're going to be using some new items that arrived over at the Pretty Pink Paw Shop. It's part of their May 2023 release. It's just a few items. There's lots more adorable items over there and I'll leave the entire release down below if you want to check it out. But for today we're using the Spring Bird Houses. That's this one here. We're also going to be using a little birdie. These are so cute on their own, but they're cute because they can coordinate together also. Um, we're going to jump in and start with our um, stamping and coloring. So we'll put these off to the side and open up these packages. We're going to go ahead and stamp all three of our birdhouses. And then one of the birds, I like the bird that's flying for our card project today, this one here. And we're going to stamp this with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And then we'll color in our images with Copic markers. Now, the nice thing about this birdhouse set is you can put them on a on a pole or you can have them hanging from a tree. And I I'm going to stamp the pole here. So we'll stamp this three times. Now I have three poles, three birdhouses, and our bird, and then off to the side here I already stamped three of the branches. I'm going to zoom in, play a little bit of music while I color, and when I'm done coloring I will catch you back.
have everything die cut out and I just love the bright colors of these. For my background, let's put these off to the side. For my card today, it's going to be a standard A2 size card. It's top folding. And then I have some pale blue cardstock. We're going to, you could actually make a card base with the pale, pale blue, but I'm actually going to layer it on. I want a, blue, a pale blue background. So we're going to adhere this directly to our card base. So we have a pretty pale blue on the front of our card base. Now I know I have a card front panel here. We need a home to put our focal points on here. And to create that home, we're going to be using the Pretty Pink Posh Wonky Stitched Rectangles. I'm going to take this, the largest one, and we're going to create a background panel with this. I'll run this through my die cut machine. I just love the stitch detail on here, and I love the shape of this. And you're just going to basically see a little bit of that blue peeking out on our card base. Now we're going to do a little stenciling on this. So I'm going to bring in my stamp and stencil mat here. We're going to add our panel. I'm going to use two different colors of inks today. I have a pale blue and then I have a green. These are memento inks. I have the Summer Sky and New Sprout. And these are the blending tools that I use for my ink pads. And if I use my Distress Oxide inks, I usually use my brushes. So we're, and I'll link these below if you want to check it out. But first we're going to take our new sprout, our green ink, picking a little bit of this up. And then I'm going to just go over the bottom here. And I'm going to fade up towards the middle. I had to bring in my silicone mat for underneath because my ink, my ink was sliding all over my desk. Okay, we're going to add some color on the very bottom. Kind of fade up or fade out towards the middle. And then I'm going to flip my my mat around and now we're going to go in with our blue ink on the very top and again I'm going to fade to the middle. I want a white line right here in the middle I wanted a soft blue Okay, and I got a little heavy over here, but I think it's still workable. I'm going to use my spray bottle and we're going to add some droplets in the back. I used my heat gun to help dry this. And after we have this panel done, I'm going to come back in with my Pretty Pink Posh Wonky Stitched Rectangles and I'm going to take the one size smaller here and I want to create a frame with this so I'm going to line it up and then I'll just use my low tack tape and we'll tape this down and we'll create a pretty background with it. Now that I have my frame created before I do eventually want to pop this up but before I do that I want to center the inside panel on my card base here. So I'm going to line this up where I want it to go. I will add some adhesive on the inside and then we'll just tack this down right. And then I'll lift out my frame. As I'm looking at this, I think my my I think there's just too many birdhouses for that little inside area. So we're going to get away with just, we're going to take away our purple birdhouse. We can use this for another one. Um, I'm going to flip over my frame. I'm going to add some adhesive along the edge here. And usually these are nice branches, but 
instead of putting the branches at the top, I thought we would put them at the bottom. And I love when they overhang on the outside edge here. And I may adjust them on the bottom. We'll see how this goes. I might lower this. I'm going to go ahead and layer my frame over the top here. And we are going to... First we'll add our bird house poles here. And we'll arrange our birdhouses where we want them to go. And I think I'm going to lower this one here so you can see the birdhouses more. I'm going to flip over my frame. And now we're going to put some foam tape behind all the areas that we're going to pop up. And we'll add this last. Now my frame is filled with foam adhesive. And we are just going to layer this right over our wonky rectangle. And then I put foam tape behind our second birdhouse too. We're going to tuck this underneath. Now, since our leaves are overhanging on the front of our birdhouse, I'm going to, have to do a little bit of gluing and we will glue these down. Before I place my bird, I do want to stamp my sentiment. In our stamp set, I'm going to be using the one that says uh, Missing You. We're going to stamp Missing You. And I'll just stamp on some white cardstock here with my black ink. And when I was looking at the dies, um, I was thinking maybe the die that we used to cut out the the pole for the the. Let me show you. I was thinking the die that we used to cut out the pole may just very well cut out missing you too. And it, it lines up perfect, so I'm going to use this to cut out my sentiment. So I love when dice work as double duties. Okay. And look at that. It cut it out beautifully. I'm going to pop it up with some foam tape. And we'll go ahead and figure out a placement for our I think that's a good spot and then I will I'm gonna add one more foam square behind my bird because I want this bird to look a little bit one level higher than our frame and we'll go ahead and add our bird here Now for bells and whistles, I am going to bring in my glossy accents and go over the inside of our birdhouses. That goes on a little cloudy, but when it dries, it will dry clear. And then I'm going to bring in my diamond stickles. And I just want a little sparkle on our bird wings. I didn't want to take away from the color of our bird. 
So just a little bit there. And that finishes my card for today. I thank you so much for joining me for Try It Out Tuesday. I wish you a lovely rest of your week, and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.